Hello, my name is Daniele Pevarello and I am Acting Director of Postgraduate Teaching and Learning in the School of Religion, Trinity College Dublin, the University of Dublin. I am also Assistant Professor in Early Christianity. In this short presentation today, I shall take you through the taught postgraduate programs that our school offers. What does it mean to study in the School of Religion? In our school, we tackle questions facing humanity by seeking to understand the roles of religion, peacemaking and theology in both their historical settings and contemporary life. We offer postgraduate taught programs in two disciplines, peace studies and religion, which includes biblical studies, the cultural study of religion, ethics and Christian theology, including theology in the Catholic tradition and ecumenics. The school also has a growing reputation in Jewish, Islamic and Buddhist studies. What does it mean for you to study with us? Well, when you choose a postgraduate taught program in our school, you will be joining over 150 postgraduate students, both in taught and research programs a third of whom come from non-EU countries. We have an international, diverse and dynamic postgraduate student body. If you study with us, you are going to study with about 20 full-time academic staff and over 20 researchers and adjunct staff associated with the school and its research centres, bringing together academic rigour innovative teaching methods and wide-ranging experience who look forward to welcoming you into a friendly and stimulating learning environment. With the cities of Dublin and Belfast on your doorstep, you will also have the unique opportunity to enter a world of rich cultural and intellectual discovery and be part of a vibrant and exciting urban life. In our school we have six postgraduate taught programs, three in the discipline of peace studies and three in the discipline of religion. In the discipline of peace studies you can study for an MPhil in conflict resolution and reconciliation based in Belfast whose course coordinator is Dr David Mitchell. Or you could study for an MPhil in international peace studies whose course coordinator is Dr. Itain Tanan. Finally, you could choose a postgraduate diploma in conflict and dispute resolution studies, whose course coordinator is Dr. Gillian Wiley. In the discipline of religion, you could study for an MPhil in intercultural theology and interreligious studies, whose course coordinator is Dr. Jude Lal Fernando. Or you could choose to study for an MPhil in Christian Theology, whose course coordinator is Dr. Michael Kirwan, and also for a postgraduate certificate and diploma in Christian Theology, also coordinated by Michael Kirwan. But now let's take a closer look at these programs. I have asked each one of these course coordinators to share with us some thoughts about their programs. The first program we are going to look at is the M Field in Conflict Resolution and Reconciliation. This is what Dr. David Mitchell has shared with me. The M Field in Conflict Resolution and Reconciliation is based in Belfast and is Trinity's only course in Northern Ireland. This creative and innovative programme examines the theory and practice of building peace in Ireland and around the world. It combines high quality academic education with practical skills and on the ground learning. The course began in the early 2000s to equip peace builders working on transforming Northern Ireland's long running violent conflict. Now, it welcomes students from around the world who wish to both understand the peace process in Ireland and the tools, techniques and theories behind conflict resolution and peace building in any setting. 
The course includes weekly classes at the Belfast campus, as well as intensive workshops, field trips, guest practitioner talks, and the opportunity to do a placement with a community peace-building organization. Students choose from modules such as conflict transformation, mediation and peace-building skills, contemporary peacemaking, global perspectives, and transitional justice. They may also take a small number of modules from the School of Religion's other MPhil courses taught in Dublin. Students write a dissertation over the summer. Graduates will be equipped for work with local and international organisations and gain transferable skills for a wide variety of careers as well as PhD research. The course is located in a student-friendly area in the south of Belfast and has its own specialist library, Northern Ireland faces many difficulties as it emerges from decades of violence. But Belfast is a vibrant city, undergoing an exciting transformation. The city provides a unique background to the M feel, allowing students to immerse themselves in a society grappling with the challenges and opportunities of conflict transformation. The next course I would like you to see with me is the MPhil in International Peace Studies. Dr. Itain Tanan, the course coordinator, wants to share with us some of her thoughts about this course. She says, the MPhil in International Peace Studies provides an interdisciplinary cutting-edge programme that examines the causes and consequences of war and armed conflict with a view to understanding how to achieve sustainable peace. Lecturers draw on interdisciplinary perspectives from politics and political science, gender, international relations, philosophy, sociology, ethics and conflict resolution, allowing students to engage critically with the social, political and economic issues associated with peace and violence. Guest lecturers are provided from practitioners such as NGO workers or diplomats to allow students apply academic theory to practice. There is also a field trip to Belfast and at the UN in Geneva at students' own cost. In addition, students may do an internship in an NGO or the United Nations in Geneva. Field trips and internship may be subject to COVID restrictions. The course ran for over one year, with coursework modules from September to April, and the dissertation is submitted in August each year. Many of our graduates work in NGOs, IOs, in the civil service, and of course, in academia. Let's also have a look at the postgraduate diploma in conflict dispute resolution studies. I have asked Dr. Gillian Wiley to share some thoughts about this course with us. This is what Gillian says. This evening diploma gives students the skills needed to analyse and resolve conflict. Dealing with conflict is a challenging part of all our lives and people from many walks of life are drawn to this course. Guardi, trade union official, or officials, public servants, human resource managers, solicitors, barristers, members of the, of the defence forces, entrepreneurs, teachers and social workers are among recent graduates. The course introduces students to theories about the causes and conflict and approaches to conflict resolution. It gives students the tools of conflict analysis that help to make sense of the dynamics of any conflict and plan effective interventions. Drawing together the insights of academic staff and the knowledge of practitioners, the course covers a range of conflict contexts from the local to the global. Combining theory and practice, the course introduces students to a range of alternative dispute resolution mechanisms and trains students in the art of mediation. The course is accredited by the Mediators Institute of Ireland 
and on successful completion of an optional assessment, students can become accredited with the Mediators Institute of Ireland. The course runs over one year, with teaching on two evenings per week across the two university terms from September to April. There are also four Saturday workshops each spring for the mediation training aspects of the course. Students can also join field trips to Belfast and to the United Nations at Geneva. In the discipline of religion, we have the offer of the MPhil in Intercultural Theology and Interreligious Studies. I've asked the coordinator of this course, Dr. Jude Lal Fernando, to share some thoughts with us about this option. The MPhil in Intercultural Theology and Interreligious Studies program defines ecumenism in the broadest possible way dialogue between churches, cultures and religions, while sharing the common ethical concerns ranging from sexualities to care for the earth. It is based on interdisciplinary intersections of theology, interreligious studies, ethics, philosophy, politics and sociology, and employs critical theories in reflecting on the complex relationship within and among faith communities and their traditions, as well as on the challenges and opportunities arising from religion's encounter with diverse cultural and sociopolitical settings. In particular, modules cover a wide range of scholarly perspectives, including those of contextual and ecumenical theologies, historical theology, theological anthropology, liberation theology, feminist, queer and ecological, interreligious studies, Buddhist, Hindu, Jewish and Islamic studies, the study of indigenous traditions, fundamentalist studies, and studies in the role of religion in pluralist societies, and conflict and peace. The course includes weekly classes or seminars at the campus, interactive field trips to diverse faith communities, internships, international immersion programs in Asia or in the Middle East, and seminars led by world-class practitioners and scholars, giving opportunities to the student to draw critical connections between theory and practice in the chosen field of their study. Students choose from six modules, from a range of modules for assessment, and are free to audit other modules. They may also take, take one or two modules from the School of Religion's other Enfield programs, taught in both Dublin and Belfast. Modules are assessed based on essays, seminar reports and attendance. A range of essay topics per module is given by the relevant lecturer and the student is encouraged to work on it innovatively and creatively. The students are highly encouraged and supported to choose a relevant research topic for their final dissertation. Graduates will be equipped for work in the governmental and non-governmental sectors, for example in development, education, or healthcare, and so on, that demand theological and interreligious literacy as well as knowledge and skills in analyzing the role of religion in conflict and peace building. For example, overcoming sectarianisms, engaging religious fundamentalisms, dialogue, dealing with the past, political forgiveness, reconciliation, and so on. In the discipline of uh, religion, you can also choose to study for an MPhil in Christian theology. The coordinator of this course is Dr. Michael Kirwan, and he also shared some thoughts about this program. So Michael says, the MPhil in Christian theology is an opportunity to engage with key questions concerning ultimate meaning and value. Theology literally means the study of God, but as a discipline it means examining everything, the world, human society, the individual person, in the light of God. Christian theology is a two-way conversation. 
It is firstly a conversation with the past of 2,000 years of reflection on who Jesus Christ is and what he did. This in turn requires an attention to what the, the biblical traditions in the centuries before Christ have to tell us about God. And it is secondly a conversation with the present. What does theology have to say in a world which is moving away from formal Christianity and where we are aware of the richness of other views? both religious and non-religious? Do we really live in a secular age which has left God behind? Or do we have an awareness of something missing? The MPhil consists of three core modules, three optional modules and a dissertation. In the core modules, students are introduced to the Bible as a source of theological knowledge. They engage with the writings of classical thinkers, such as Augustine, Thomas Aquinas, Julian of Norwich, Teresa of Avila and Karl Barth. And they ask about what it means to be human by looking at the struggle of violence and grace in the human story. The optional modules explore the question of God through reflection upon the person and significance of Jesus, through politics and through art, in the culture and faith of Celtic Christianity, and in the theology of ministry in a changing church. The dissertation allows the student to look in depth at a theological topic of their own interest. It is also possible to study for a postgraduate certificate in Christian theology, which requires four of the modules I have mentioned, but no dissertation. Together, these very different approaches and themes initiate the student into the rich intellectual wisdom of the Christian faith tradition. Well, I thank you for joining us and I really hope that this short video has stimulated your curiosity and whetted your appetite to know more about our postgraduate thought programs. If you want to have more information about our courses and how to apply, please visit our web page. If you are interested in postgraduate taught programs in peace studies, visit us at www.tcd.ie slash religion slash postgraduate slash PG studies peace. If you're interested in our uh, postgraduate taught programs in religion, visit us at www.tcd.ie slash religion slash postgraduate slash PG studies religion. You might also want to write to us. Drop us a line. Write to srpostgrad at tcd.ie. We are looking forward to let you know more about our programs and the possibility you can have to study with us. We look forward to welcoming you soon. Thank you very much for your attention.